Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about the weight of the racket. Why do certain players play with heavy rackets? Well, how does it affect your game? And weight also boils down to swing weight. How heavy is the racket to swing? Rackets are generally getting lighter and lighter compared to maybe 15, 20 years ago, where ev when everybody was playing with really heavy rackets. If you take a wooden racket, you have one behind me there, uh, they are really heavy, 400 grams, something like that. Even McEnroe, Johnny Mac used to play with a racket that was really heavy. Pete Sampras weighed up his Pro Staff 85 to 400 grams, and that's a massive racket. Today, a heavy racket is something around 12, 12.5 ounces strong. That's a really heavy stick, but most players play with something around 300 grams. That's the average weight of tennis rackets today, I think the 300 gram range, but then there's everything in between. And when you have a lighter weight, you need more weight centered towards the head. Otherwise the racket will be completely unstable. You can't play with a racket that is head light, meaning it has more weight in the handle and it's light overall. So heavy rackets are generally head light because you need some maneuverability. If you have a very heavy racket, with a lot of weight in the head, that's gonna be an incredible swing weight to swing. So you can see some pros, if we look at pro swing weights, Andy Murray playing with heavy swing weight, 360, 370, a strong Dimitrov also heavy swing weight, a lot of mass to move around. Federer a bit more whippy, less swing weight for a pro, 340 but most pros are around in the 330 plus range. I don't see many pros from 320, although I've hit with some futures players that like it around 320 swing weight, but then they play with a stiff racket. So usually when you're going down in weight, you usually get a stiffness of the racket to kind of handle some of that stability issue that might happen when you have um, a light racket. You don't have a lot of mass. So it's all a game of physics really. If you don't have enough mass to, to meet the ball, uh, the racket is gonna wobble and you might actually get arm issues. So playing with really light and stiff rackets to compensate can give arm issues because uh, there's not mass really there to handle it. It's more of a, of a stiffer frame. So the vibration needs to go somewhere and they tend to go down to your arm. So that's why you see uh, a lot of players suffering from tennis elbow and these types of injuries today because they play with really light and stiff rackets. Recently I've tried a little bit of everything, maybe partly to demonstrate and to create this video. Uh, so I played with the Prince Twist Power, that's a 290 gram racket. Uh, I'm more used to and, and you know grown accustomed to over the years to play with heavier frames. That's always kind of been my preference, but I'm trying to move down in weight to get a little bit of a faster and whippier stroke. That's been something I've been working on. And not sure how it's going. Uh, generally, the, the twist power was, was a very good stick, I felt, but still at times I do lack the mass, especially on serve, for example, where, where weight really comes in handy. You need a, a somewhat maneuverable frame, but that weight really helps on the serve, is something I've noticed as well. Some light rackets can be quite tough to generate. Pace on the serve might depend a bit on your technique, but it's generally true. We'll get to a few rackets and, and look at what, how they differ. One very rare uh, racket today, the Yonex V-Core Pro 97H, a, a, a tremendous racket, but it's ultra heavy. So this is 330 grams unstrung, meaning you add strings, that's 15 to 20 grams, and that goes up to 350 then, and then you add an overgrip, you're nearing 360 grams. Then we're getting into the territory of how tennis rackets were in the 90s to 2000s. It's a more of an old school approach to a tennis racket. And hits the ball like a tank, Stan Wawrinka doesn't use this one, he uses the V-Core 95D, as you can see on this channel, but he plays with a racket that is very, very heavy. I think the swing weight of his is 360, 370 as well, and it weighs like 370 grams. But Stan the Man is a beast, and if you're not a beast, these frames will be quite hard to, to handle. I measured the swing weight of this one on my machine, uh, the Head 3-1 swing weight machine, and it uh, calculated 347 with strings Yonex Polytor Pro 1.25 gauge. So this is a pretty hefty stick. Really enjoy it, but what happens with all that weight is that it's, when you're feeling fresh, 
you can easily maneuver all that weight but as soon as you're a bit late maybe you don't have the best of footwork or you're just tired uh, or something is a little bit off then all that weight will tire you so every gram will then count because you hit hundreds of balls in a session or a match and uh, you know swinging that racket it needs to feel natural on the first 10 minutes as well as the 90th minute so the weight really plows through the ball and when we're talking about plow through plow through means that the racket really goes through the ball like a tank it doesn't wobble it just goes through it and uh, that's a big benefit of heavier rackets that you have that ultra stable rock solid and then plowing through the ball uh, so for players with flatter strokes generally they, they feel pretty happy with uh, heavier rackets so that they can get that a sensation of really nuking the ball a flatter trajectory shot really penetrating the court players who play with a very whippy motion they use a lot of top spin they maybe use a lot of wrist generally don't like heavy rackets one example is the the technifiber t fight rs 300 that i've been testing uh, it's a very good frame uh, I, I really like this one, but it definitely appeals more to a player looking for that top spin whip, maybe more extreme grip, western grip, or semi-western, and to get that rotation, the windshield wiper motion, and to whip up top spin. And that's what you're, you're seeing with these types of frames. Uh, a lot more, or lighter even than this one, while a traditional stick uh, is kind of more created for that flat ball and uh, the good thing about the racket like this one is that it's very easy to maneuver so even if you're on the fence you're, you need to pick up balls uh, quickly you need to react quickly um, this racket thanks to being a bit stiffer uh, can still hit a, a decent ball even with a less than, than ideal contact if we take an old school frame the racket i played today the i prestige mp uh, that, that racket is from 2001 and it's uh, a racket that is 325 grams unstrung. This one is uh, strung with some pretty cheap uh, synthetic string. I still wanted to try it today. And uh, it's 340 swing weight. So this is kind of that swing weight, the pro swing weight, older advanced play racket swing weight. This racket with the small head size, 95 square inches, really is made for really hitting through the ball. When you want to whip up some spin, this racket doesn't really give you anything. You have to be ultra strong to do that and have really good timing. Uh, so it, it punishes you if you're sloppy with your footwork, but when you're playing well, it, it's pinpoint precision and control like most 95 square inch head rackets and those prestige i mean for you uh, fans of the prestige line you know there's a new update out of the prestige i reviewed that on my channel and i i noticed that they were all higher in swing weight and that's something that that some old school players or players who like heavy plow through frames will enjoy but for most players it might be cumbersome when you're looking at rackets like the prestige tour now now called prestige tour it was previously called the pro that racket is is 340 plus swing weight as well so quite similar to this pretty much a throwback to this stuff uh, thin beam a little bit thicker beam and the 1619 pattern but overall they they spec out really close so an uh, interesting decision of head to, to bump up the swing weight pretty much across the board of the prestigious line. It, it gives it more of a prestige sensation in a way, uh, but still I'm not sure if that's the way to go to appeal to a wider audience. But if you're an advanced player, I think you might really enjoy the new prestige tour. But I found that it, it can be a little bit cumbersome in certain situations. When we talk about light rackets, uh, I recently play tested this one, a very good light racket from Pacific. It's 280 grams, if I'm not mistaken, and it's a X-Fast LT. So it's a light racket, and all brands have these light rackets. This one is called LT, Babolat uses also light, or they, they can call them team, and uh, Wilson uses light or ultra light even, that's even lighter. So they need more mass in the head. This one I struggled to play uh, efficiently with without adding some weight, but when I added weight, it played much, much better. So actually a nice stick, not something for me, considering the kind of playing style I, I, I play with, but, but this is a typical light, easy to swing racket that will appeal to, to intermediate and lower level players. I think it's a, it's a great option 
I think most advanced players might lack a little bit of, of stability and plow through with this frame. The modern racket is definitely lighter. We have all options. We can go down to 260 grams, like this one, also Pacific beginner frame. Or why not the Blade 104? This one is uh, 290 grams as well. I think weights overall are going down. Uh, we're now seeing a lot of 290, 295. It's slowly creeping down a little bit. Uh, but then you, you counter, uh, counterbalance that with a racket like the V-Core Pro 97H, which is, a, which is a, you know, released this year, and that tank of a racket. And they have the D, which is 320 grams on strung. So it's not like heavy rackets are going away, but they're a little less frequent now with their updates. The average spec you will see is 300 grams, 1619, 100 square inches. But maybe in a few years we will see even lower, maybe 290 uh, will be that standard, well, who, who knows. But uh, it, it's definitely getting a little bit lighter overall. And now the kind of standard advanced player weight, at least in stock form, uncustomized, seems to be 305 grams which is fine for most players. You, we can pick up a Blade 98, Technifiber T-Fight RS305, um, Radical MP from Head, quite a few uh, 305 gram rackets like the Extreme Tour that I use and uh, a few others. So the 305 grams has become kind of the advanced control player racket that kind of comes in the middle there and the 300 is more, you know, for everyone. Intermediate players that want some power and spin, they usually go for a 300 gram rack. And if you follow my blog, tennisner.net, you will see that Wilson just released their uh, Blade version 800, which is 300 grams. So that's an interesting, not super powerful, but still a bit more forgiving uh, head size. So you're seeing those kind of frames as well, quite a large head size, but still not that stiff tweener style racket with a thick beam, the beam is thinner. And I have one more example of that, and that's the, the Gravity Pro. So this one, uh, the older generation Gravity Pro, that's a 315 grams racket, but they, they, which is pretty much an advanced player racket, but they made a head size, teardrop shaped and, and 100 square inch. So this is, becomes kind of a hybrid of a more modern frame, but also old school in the way that it has an 1820 pattern and a 20 millimeter beam. So uh, uh, they're trying a little bit of everything. There's pretty much everything in the marketplace right now. I mean, the super heavy frames like the Vico Pro 97H, the Pro Stuff RF97. We have the Head Prestige Tour uh, with pretty hefty swing weights as well. So you're seeing all kinds of weights and the question is, of course, what weight should you use when you play? What, what is uh, the weight that you should play with? And that all depends. You need to play around a bit. Overall, I think it boils down into swing weight. And that's why I'm not so happy always that, that they seem to forget that swing weight is one of the key metrics and they don't show it on, uh, mo for most retailers, most racket brands, they don't show the swing weight. And that's a little bit uh, sad. Let's hope that they start doing that at some point because I think swing weight is so important and a swing weight could be fine at 300 for most intermediates, beginners, but when you get into the advanced level, you want to have a swing weight around 320 uh, or, or more. I think that's the, the general consensus you're, you're seeing, at least from the racket manufacturers. Uh, so these are some musings about racket weight and how it affects uh, your game. And uh, I'm keen now to hear what racket do you play with, what, what's the weight, uh, have you ever added weight to a racket, uh, all these things come into play. And do you know your swing weight? That's the, one of the key factors as well. There's plenty of content on this channel about weight of a racket, so um, to check those other videos out. Uh, that's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.